Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we're going to be comparing three of my Louis Vuitton bags. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. If you didn't know, my name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys know I love them all. I do not discriminate. This video was a requested video and I really apologize for taking so long to do this video. I had purchased um, a Louis Vuitton bag, which I don't know if it's considered vintage. It's probably almost vintage. It's called the uh, Louis Vuitton Duomo, and I was going to be comparing it to the Alma BB as well as the Speedy. Um, if you guys recall, I made this video probably last year around Christmas time, end of the year time. I was looking for a Louis Vuitton bag specifically in Damier Abin and I at the time was looking at the Alma BB and then I was also looking at perhaps getting an Alma PM or getting a Speedy in one of those colorways and I ended up finding like something that I thought was a great mix between the Alma BB and the Speedy. So I want to kind of give you guys a look around all three of these bags. I also, as you guys know, like Louis Vuitton, I know the prices have continued to increase and I know that they are kind of weaning back from what I understand on the actual canvas pieces so it's very difficult to get them online and it's also very difficult to get them in the store because they're pushing their leather line so if you are interested in you know some of those kind of classic pieces classic canvas pieces um this is a great bag to get on the uh resale market i purchased mine from fashion file and i believe that i got it for about $800. I'll put the actual price below. So this is the bag. This is the uh, Louis Vuitton Duomo and this is in the um, Damier Abin. This came in absolutely perfect condition. One of the things that I will say is that the older bags, 2015 and older, for some reason like that canvas is so thick and great. I can't remember the year that this bag was made. I will put the year below, but I want to walk you around the bag and then kind of show you some of the differences. In terms of like what fits, I know that this is a comparison video, but I won't do a what fits because they're all really large bags. So they can all fit everything that you would have to fit in them. So I'm just going to walk you around the bags and kind of give you some reasons that I chose this bag over getting another Speedy or um, another Alma. So to walk you around this bag, this has the kind of rolled handled, uh, rolled handles like I think all the Louis Vuitton bags have. It came with a clouchette and um, a lock. The cool thing about this bag that I like, and you know, all these bags are essentially luggage bags. Uh, you can put the lock here and it actually locks the bag, which I think is pretty great. The gold is very gold on some of the older bag. If you look on the inside of the bag, it has the suede or I think it's suede or microfiber um, on the interior. It comes also with one, uh, two pockets and then just a nice big open space. So it definitely does fit a lot. What I loved about this bag, and I will show you kind of the differences between this and the Speedy, is I love this bag because it is still a very structured bag. Um, you don't need, you know, an organizer in here for it to keep its structure. It is very structured, and I really, really love that about this bag. So let's compare it with the Speedy first. Giving you a quick walk around the Speedy, um, by the way, this is the Speedy in the 25. This was purchased uh, in 2020. Um, and I think this was also made in 2020. So I'm sure you guys probably are very familiar with the Speedies, but it's just one big open uh, space and, and it has a very small zip pocket. As you can see, this bag is definitely less structured. 
it's very squishy but the great thing about this bag is that again it holds a lot of things so looking at both bags side by side they're very similar in size um the Duomo is definitely a little bit larger but overall they're pretty similar in size and as you can see the biggest difference for me in these two bags is that this bag is definitely way more uh way less structured than this bag and really quickly i'm going to show you like some size comparisons as well with the speedy 30 if you're considering this over the speedy 30. so this is the speedy 30. Um, as you can tell i feel like the speedy 30 is definitely a lot larger i happen to have a bag shaper um in mine but this is kind of a comparison so that you can see kind of the differences in there so this obviously kind of tapers up where the speedy is kind of like totally i don't know what you would call this cylinder shape or what have you this is the alma in the pm size it is my favorite size for the alma so let me walk you around this bag if you're not familiar as you can see it is a very structured bag it has a very structured base um, to the bag and then when you open up the bag it is basically um, fabric lined and then it's just one big space and then you have um, two slit pockets I don't know if these are called slit pockets but two pockets I love this bag obviously this bag can fit anything you want all these bags can fit a bottle of water let's compare just kind of sizing to the uh, Duomo so this is kind of size comparison um, to the Duomo bag. As you can see, the Alma is definitely taller. The Duomo and the Alma seem to be just about the same width. And then also, you know that the Alma um, definitely comes to kind of more of a dome point where this is definitely more of, it doesn't come all the way up to the dome. In my opinion, if you were putting a hodgepodge of the Alma and the Speedy together, you you definitely you get the Duomo, which is why I really like the bag. When I tried on the Alma BB, um, the the strap was super long and it kind of didn't give me just the vibe that I was looking for. I don't think that I liked the size and how it actually looked on my particular frame. Um, where I really did love the Alma PM and how it looked on my frame. So I think that's why I kind of chose the Duomo and from a price point perspective. So I will put down the actual prices if these are available. This is FYI, another bag that I did purchase from Fashion File. This was made in 2015. It is part of the Totem Collection. And if I'm not mistaken, I paid like $1,300 for this, which is an absolute steal and I mean for such a unique Louis Vuitton piece and again 2015 like the canvas just feels just so much thicker and better I think that all of my Louis Vuitton bags with the exception of a couple of them are 2015 and older um, obviously this one is not this is the speedy uh, bandolier so when I purchased this when I purchased this last year, I believe it was $16.95 ish, something around that range or $15.95. It was right before there was an increase. Um, I'll put the price below of how much this is now. I'm not really sure. This bag, like I mentioned before, I purchased for $800 and some change or $900. I'll put the exact price below. Um, but, and I will put links to ones on Fashion File if I am able to find, if they have any, I will put links below. I think from a price point perspective, and especially because of the scarcity now of the um, canvas print from Louis Vuitton, obviously going pre-loved is going to be the way to go. And I really love this bag just because it was a great price point, right? I didn't have to like pay upwards of $2,000 for um, you know, a Speedy or an Alma brand new. And this is, I like the uniqueness of this bag. I like that I'm not going to see anybody really carrying this bag. I like that it's an older bag. So it's just very sturdy and just has, I mean, 
even feeling the um even feeling the canvas in this one and this one is still like a total difference and this is 2015 i think this was like a 2008 or something like that but i mean this canvas is very very thick even comparing to this one and then this one is I mean the canvas just isn't thick at all like you can tell I know that a lot of people say that like Louis Vuitton and other brands like their quality has gone down and things of that nature but you can kind of tell especially if you have pieces that are a little bit older you can like really feel the difference in the quality from something that was made you know a year and a half ago um, to something that was made in 2008 to even something that was made in 2000 and 11 or 2015 I can't remember what year but I'll put the bags below but these are they're all just kind of they're all great but they're all different and you can tell the older the Louis Vuitton bag is the better the quality is as well which is another reason that I would definitely recommend somebody going with this Duomo bag you know as opposed to maybe getting another speedy in your collection or an Alma but I mean let's be honest these two are classic silhouettes they're classic Louis Vuitton silhouettes they're classic styles they're never going to go out of style and honestly to me this isn't ever going to go out of style either I mean again it's literally the perfect mix between the two bags in my opinion and um it's just really a great buy so if you are kind of going back and forth and you're trying to do something or find a Louis Vuitton that's not as expensive that's really good quality um, and that is a really good kind of mixture of the Speedy and the Alma I definitely recommend the Duomo. If you have any questions about either of the three bags and especially du the Duomo I will definitely answer uh, any questions that you have. Feel free to comment um, below and I will be sure to answer those questions for you. Like I mentioned before, I will have links to specifically the Duomo bag and if you are interested, I will have links to the Alma and the Totem series because I mean, that is great. I do love that bag. Um, and again, I got them both from Fashion Files. So if I can find either one of them, I will link them below. I think that they are great, especially with all these different price increases um, from Louis Vuitton. I think definitely looking into some of the older uh, bags is definitely, definitely, definitely a plus. Thanks again for stopping by. If you haven't done so, please do subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, comment below, and head on over to my Instagram and follow me there as well. I always tell you guys, I'm styling my bags. I'm posting pics typically of my handbags first over there. So if you're into that, definitely follow me over there. And um, like I always say, I thank you so much and I definitely look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Want me to want her bad. She moves like Chow Look what style do. Life